Well, I couldn't decide whether getting hit in your face with a shovel is play stupid games, win stupid prizes, episode 27, or fuck around and find out. You guys let me know in the comments, but here's what happened. Well, just another day in Jackson, Mississippi, where this guy here believes his ATV side-by-side -side was stolen by this gentleman here and his papa. Well, papa not having any of that. He bought that from a crackhead fair and square, so he comes out with a two-by-four saying it ain't happening. Now, he starts pointing at papa. Papa's not dealing with any of that shit. This person goes back up to the porch. Now, if you can't see, because I've blurted out here for TikTok purposes, this gentleman here is holding a revolver, and Papa has the 2x4, and the guy in the white shirt, who's accusing them of stealing it from them, is saying, it's mine, motherfucker. Now, Frank here, he uh, pulls Papa back so he doesn't keep beating him, because he smashes him in the side of the face right here with this big old 2x4 right here. Now, I'm not so sure about any of y'all, but once I got smashed in the head with a 2x4, I'd probably be getting the hell out of there. For one, I wouldn't be confronting people holding a 2x4 and a revolver over a four-wheeler. I would probably have just gotten the cops involved, but we ain't in my neck of the woods. Now, Franks decides to walk off, smart move on his part, um, but Papa's still standing there with the 2x4 saying, come at me again, bro. Now, you may have seen that this guy's shirt is extremely white. Well, that's the blurring of the blood. Anywhere you see white is going to be blurred out blood because I can't show blood on TikTok. But Frank comes back. He's like, you know what? I got a better idea. If I'm going to hit this guy, and ain't going to be with a revolver while I go to prison. It's going to be with a shovel, which I still think you'd go to prison, but who knows how it goes in Mississippi. Now, these guys are telling him to get the hell off his property, get the hell out of here. Pawpaw's ready to go at it again. But Frank convinces Pawpaw that he's done enough and had his turn. You go get out of the way. It's my turn. Now, I'm not sure if it's the blow to the head or not, but man holding the shovel is now being told to suck this guy's dick by a guy that's bleeding profusely. Could it be the blow to the head? I don't know. And he comes at guy with shovel with fit. Guy with shovel gives a warning shot to the armpit. Warning shot is not successful, and the guy gets smashed in the face when he charges at him a second time. It seems the second shot is really the one that did the trick there, or maybe third if you count the armpit. But either way, now dude is propped up against his own car, and he's a little out of sorts. But he ain't done yet. He's going to ram his truck into Buddy's truck, to which case Buddy decides, I'm going to smash your truck with my shovel now. And he does. He blows out the front window where this guy's at and blasts him probably in the head again or at least gets him covered in glass. And then dude takes off. Now there's conflicting reports on what's actually gone on in this story, why all this actually started. What basically seemed to have occurred is these guys bought that ATV from what they consider a crackhead. It's this guy claims was his stolen ATV. And then other reports are saying that this guy was getting evicted and he was saying the home that he was in was his and he was not going to leave and try to bully his way into staying. I don't know what the truth is, but I know that if you go up to somebody with a hope that when they're holding a two by four and a shovel and you fuck around, you're going to find out.